and go into the whole King Shine situation because there's so many people them who probably online probably seeing what's going on and they just see one man like a one man army like he's just him one controlling this whole situation but there's other situations where you can see that there clearly is a king shine team definitely and before i definitely. start to go into just a whole jimmy spliff kind of situation i think it's, it, it would be good to start to big up the team yeah. and everybody who who is a part of what 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 you what you're about right about now so yeah, definitely. For, for you the, the floor is open to just big up and respect everybody who plays a yeah. part of what's going on right now see how it go with the, the team of king shine now is um my bridging sample is um who brought me in sample is king shine is a family so mm -hmm. shine is actually a person that's their grandfather papa shine you know in jamaica somebody with darker very darker skin they will have the nickname of shine okay. blacker mm -hmm. you know them type of nickname so papa shine is a person so king shine was a song you know built back in you know the eras of time when a man built them song Five round them yard, you know them weird. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a sound built, and then they start put the sound on the road. It built in Kansas City, you know. Okay. Another state in America, but it's in the Midwest. Okay. When I say Midwest, it's literally in the middle of the country. That's what we call the Midwest. Mm. Um, so it's in the Midwest, and um, it was built back then or whatever, and you know, regular sound, play a dance and ray and mm. thing, and, um, Unfortunately, one night there was an accident around the sound. Um, uh, Derek, you know, the family member was behind the sound. Like, you know, I guess some shot fire in a dance, stray bullet, catch him wow. and him dead. You know, so that made them kind of part the sound. Mm. They put down the sound, and you know, I guess it must have changed the vibe of you know how it felt around the sound. So the sound was put down. But at the time, they played another local sound, which is from Kansas City. Same. So day. I don't, I don't, I don't want to cut you, mm. but. So basically what you're saying is King Shine's playing in a dance, playing music for the people them. Yeah. Shot fire in shot the dance. What's the argument kick off or something like that? And one of your shot your fire. main members them yeah. get the shot. And he was actually um if um I mean people hear the names in the dubs twenty B. Mm -hmm. 20B is one of them. I think I think last time I talked to Twenty B, he was explaining to me that he was supposed to go. Like he called him and told him like yo i got a diet or something like i can't remember i don't want to tell the story more but i mm. think that was he wasn't supposed to be by himself but he ended up being there by himself but that i think that's what happened and um like something shot fire and you know mm. catch him or whatever so they kind of put the sound away i don't know i think it was requested by the grand i think their grandmother at the time asked him to put it away i think okay. that's if i'm not if i'm not mistaken I, I'm, I'm almost 100 percent sure that's what happens she kind of asked him to put it down you know mm. and um but they joined the sound uh, which was a local sound there named Stingray. So they joined the sound. So they was playing sound and playing music. Same way. And, um, you know, as they got older and got bigger, when they say, yeah, we have one thing, so we now play this thing again. Mm -hmm. Bring back few thing. Yeah. We're a big man now. Like, nobody, who, who I got to tell we say we can't. Like, when you're younger and somebody say don't. <laughs> so I guess that was kind of the mindset behind it. And, you know, they start bringing it back. And, um, but how did you get into it but Where, I, where's I, yeah we we, we we way before that this we still in like okay. the mid 90s but the sound wasn't built as a dub played sound or a sound killing sound mm. um I, if, if if you really know ox you kind of know ox that he's more in, he's into equipment he's also into equipment a lot of speakers amps and all that mm. so king shine was always a song equipment always have him song more than dub played mm-hmm more so on more than the player um so always look a song used to cut here and there here and there but never really on the killing level or even not even i wouldn't even know how much i wrote the sound that i play if you play a dub player mm. but if you string up and party which part then live kansas city yeah the song was there and doing that because and that whole time my bridge and sample was playing a sound in new jersey which people probably know when it's popular they back on the road name named twin tower mm -hmm. um that's my brother sample was yeah. playing that sound and at that time i was just like a young youth coming up like um my brother and them had a sound 
and uh, and then my next brethren had um, records, and I was around that sound first, and then um, it was like Angela, Angela, we it was too much, it was too much people, and I knew that basically around there I wasn't gonna get a chance to play, like we all would learn together, and we would you know juggle music together after school. Mm-hmm. Every day we all link up. Like I was the, at the time, I was like the, I was like the local cassette man because mm-hmm. I would go to New York every weekend and load up a cassette and come back. I would actually go and buy my cassettes from who everybody knows, Andrew Digital. Okay. Yeah, that's who I would go and get my cassettes from, Andrew Digital, and I would come back, load it up, and so you know I was like a local on a smaller level, a cassette man for my friends and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, but I always was then time I always wanted to know how I, I could be an MC. Mm-hmm. Because I was witty. I was always witty. Like, growing up, you know, like what we call jonesing or hiking, telling mama jokes and all that. <laughs> I was always the best. Like, it wasn't even yeah. hands down. Like, high school, of course, they voted me class clown. Cause like, because, like... I was a diff- I wasn't like the mm-hmm. class clown. Like, hey, look at me. I can it's, make a monkey it's, sound. It's, it's, it's I so was cr- like the guy that would make people yeah. laugh at I, people. I, I don't want to cut you, Jimmy, because yeah. you're... This is the thing about having these conversations we go back and forth back and forth like you're already talking about your you, you're holding the microphone and 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 your charisma we haven't even got to the point where where did that happen where did that where did that transition happen where you actually right. says you know what it's, it's, it, it, it's it, it, you're playing sound before I even got on sound, I knew I could do it because of school. Mm-hmm. I would be in school like we could, I, I, we could be in school and we would be having a day and like, I, once I got done with my work, you better be done with your work. Yeah. If I'm done Jeez, with my work, man. you better be Come done with on, your man. work because class are we, is done. Are we really, really having one of the best conversations ever? Listen to my Because he's talking to when, when I'm done with my work, you better be done with your work because just, class done. Uh, once I got so boom, last question done, I handed my paper. As soon as I go so and sit down, I just well, I just find a target. Yo. And, the, and it's over I, with. Yo, people. I start. Anybody who knows about Select Hype is the exact same scenario. <laughs> yeah. I always made sure, say, yo, when I'm in my school work, work gets done. Once but you done, see, when, when work's done, if don't I'm, tell me nothing. That, once I'm you, done... You better be done, because <laughs> class done. Class done. It's a mad thing, man. Trust me. Yeah, class but we're gonna, done. We've got, we got so much to talk about yeah, right now, man. So, time. boom, bam. School, you lock down the school situation. I know a lot of people, I think we might have to go back and forth. I don't know how we're going to do it. We may have to communicate via Facebook Live or do something else yeah, differently. Okay. But I'm sure people want to fast forward the thing and say, you know what? King shine. But that's going to come a little bit later on. Right now, we want to talk a little bit just about the name, Jimmy Spliff. A lot of people them who says, yo, so where are you getting the name from, Jimmy? Is his okay. real name Jimmy? How did it go? Yeah. All the things. Can we just get a little roundup on, on the whole All Jimmy right, yeah, Spliff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, originally, around uh, freshman year, I think it was freshman year in high school, I had a, um, I had a brethren. Um, Named Lochner. Um, he's Guyanese. Like most of my closest friends in high school was Guyanese. Mm-hmm. Um, um, the Jamaican in my high school at the time, they a lot of them was like, um, they was fresh up. Like a lot of them was just here from Jamaica. So me and them didn't, we didn't mesh as well because they was a lot of stuff they, and they were a little bit more standoffish too which and, but my guy and these friends a few of them they had been here a couple of years they kind of had adjusted more so they could relate to mm-hmm. me more they went to middle school and all of that like some of them went to grade school so some of them had been here six seven eight years or a damn amount so it, me and them we adjusted to each other more so um i used to be around them and even back then, freshman year in high school, they smoked a lot of weed. Like, they was before class. Well, not a lot, but what, for them, it would be a lot. Like, mm. it would be five or six of us before class. They'll light a spliff, and they'll be done a spliff. But I didn't smoke. Like, the spliff would go through, and I wouldn't touch it. Okay. And we would all be sitting there, all acting crazy. It took them to, be, to have to smoke weed to get to where I was every morning. Okay. You understand? So, when I came to, when I came to school every morning... They would smoke weed to get to where I was, like just geeked out, laughing, and just like 
everything like but all but but what the teachers didn't realize a lot of them they had their worst days in school when they didn't smoke mm. a lot of my friends i noticed when they didn't smoke they had some of their worst days so it, it took them to smoke to really be focused even on schoolwork. Mm-hmm. so what would happen we would go to upstairs and the teacher be like look at y'all all y'all got chinky eyes and giggling. Y'all all been smoking. And then, like, I used to have a budget. Like, with this teacher we were so cool with, they was like, nah, we was all smoking. Except except Nature Boy over there. Like, Mr. Natural. That's what they was like, Mr. <laughs> I don't smoke. Because they would always laugh and say. So, my budget, um used to call me Nature Boy. He used to be like, yeah, Mr. Nature Boy over there. He don't smoke. He don't drink. He don't do anything. I didn't smoke. I didn't drink. I was in high school. I didn't think it was appropriate. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, which I had smoked that summer before that, but it was like a one or two times thing, and that was enough for me. I didn't, I knew I was a kid. I didn't feel like I needed to be smoking every day. So they started calling me Nature Boy. Because, mm-hmm. like, oh, then, like, I would be walking up, we'll be sitting there about to smoke, and they'd be like, oh boy, here we go, Mr. Natural over here. And then, um, you know, at the time, it was a lot of artists, like, yeah, Anthony B. So every every artist had like something B or something this. So my brother just started calling me Nature B. He he wasn't calling me boy. He was like, but now I'm calling him my boy. He was like, yo, Nature B. Every time I walk up, they be like, yo, Nature B, Nature B, Nature B. So it kind of stuck, you know. So everybody started calling me Nature B. That was my name. And mm-hmm. when I started playing sound, I was like, yo. They was like, yo, what, what name you gonna work with? I was like, Nature B, man, I gonna work with that. Mm-hmm. So like back them times in school, you have a tag, you know. I don't know if it was like that here in England. Yeah. You have a tag, and when you go, you have your marker. You write yeah, your that's name. That's that straight Greek. Nobody <laughs> never wrote their government name <laughs> on a wall. So that's what I would write. I would write Nature B. So the B. Jimmy, the Jimmy came in at what point? Where did where did the Jimmy split come into? Now, like like you believe it. Let me tell you how this started. <laughs> Because you gave me, you, you literally just uh, the question was you, like the name was Red that Jimmy. was my name always Nature B. Like even when I, if you listen to some early King Shine dubs, you'll hear Nature B. Like, mm-hmm. um, but in two thousand and I think it was ten mm-hmm. or nine, I can't remember. Um, Twin Tower, which was a, a local Jersey sound, my brother Sample used to play. Mm-hmm. Um, had a clash with Black Cat, right? And um, at the time, the youth them that was playing on Twin Tower was still kind of young. So my brother Sample, with which you know he know he knew Twin Tower Box because he played the sound for so many years. He was kind of helping them out or whatever, um, like you know giving them pointers what they should kind of do, like showing them what they should play and this because they were young to the sound. That clash, them actually go on good. They actually won, but in the tune for tune. Um, Pink Panther played a Jimmy Cliff, which I knew was fake. Mm-hmm. I knew it like you could just listen. As soon as he pressed play, I was like, "That's not Jimmy Cliff," <laughs> you know. So when he played it, I jumped like I got on the speaker, like it was a speaker in the corner. Oh yeah, we got to say it. So I, I jumped up, I got on the speaker, right, and I stood on the speaker after like most people didn't really know. Most people at the time didn't really kind of know like that tune wasn't real so when he played it as soon as he finished played it and then he was like jimmy cliff and i was like jimmy spliff and okay everybody laughed <laughs> and he was like what is that okay. i was like that ain't no jimmy cliff okay. that's a jimmy spliff <laughs> and everybody laughed and then i was like many rivers like i started singing it uh-huh. and everybody started laughing so the next the very next day when I went home, um, like everybody was talking about it when we left the class. Everybody was laughing, laughing. So on the way home, the way driving home, I had an idea in my head. And I got home, um, I had this hat. Um, it was in my it was in my um my woman's closet. It was in my wife's closet. Um a hat. And I was like, Who hat is this? She was like, Oh, this is my this my mom's hat. This has been in here forever. And she was like, it's not really a woman's hat. It's a unisex hat. And I looked at it. I was like, this is something from like the 80s. So I took the hat and I put it on and I put some shades on. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I just, I started laughing. And then I took up my phone. <laughs> Them time there, camera phone was not even super hot like that. But mm. it, it was in their earliest stages. So I turned up the phone and I was like, yes, this is Jimmy Spliff. I'm the one that did the dub for Black Cat. Right, okay. right, right. And when I stopped pressing play, yo, I'm a laugh to me weak. 
And I was like, I'm going to put this online. Mm. I'm going to put this online. And so I put it online. And I'm trying to remember where it got shared to. But it just started getting shared everywhere. Everywhere people started calling my phone, like, "Yo, I just seen the video on the, I just seen the video online, the Jimmy Split video <laughs> about punt the fake dub. I just seen the video online. I seen the video online, and then um, and then um, I forgot what happened. I went somewhere, and it was a youth that was in the clash when he saw me, mm. like. He didn't know he knew me from years ago because I had moved from, remember, I got, well, we didn't even get into this. I moved from New Jersey to Delaware. So I was out of the dance hall for like seven years. Like when I was, when I was in the dance hall, I was this big, heavy set, chubby kid. Like I left the dance hall when I was 20. I came back as a slim, a grown adult man with kids. So a lot of people didn't even know what they would look like. They didn't even know they knew me from back in the day. You know, but when he saw me, he was like, yo, yo, you, you. From the dance, the clash, you, Jimmy Spliff. <laughs> and he was like, you the Jimmy Spliff dude. And then I was like, I was said it to myself. I was like, yo, that's a good little moniker. I like that. Mm. I was like, I like that. I'm, I'm going to start working with that. So when I started going on social media, mm-hmm. this is when I first got my social media stuff, Facebook and all of that, I was like, I'm going to work with that. You was already, you was already Jimmy Spliff by yeah, then. Yeah, by then I was like, I'm going I'm to start working with this moniker. I was going to just be Nature, Nature B, but I was like, I'm going to have that little moniker, Jimmy Spliff. It just... It just kind of took off. Cool. Came alive of its own. 